everyone welcome to the second part of this page um, I'm just looking and deciding where to start really um, I think I might do the fruit at the bottom um, why not so we have got the strawberries on this side and apples on this side um, everything else is reasonably symmetrical, I'm just having a quick look, apart from the butterflies and the fruit. So what I tend to do when I've done this picture a couple of times before, um, do the fruit in red so they sort of match, but obviously strawberries and apples aren't always quite the same red. We'll see what we get, where we get to with it. Let's come in even closer. Let's just concentrate on this side first. So I'm out of breath, I've just run upstairs, as you do. <laughs> right, strawberries. Now, I always think they're a slightly orangey red, rather than a red. Oh, we have a strawberry colour. This is the um, Chroma Flow that we were using yesterday. We have strawberry. So let's use the strawberry. So let's just, now these seeds, if you look at strawberries, they're either black or yellow. And you can choose, you could colour them in yellow and really burnish that yellow down and then you might find when you put your red on top, it doesn't sit there, it, it goes over the top sort of thing. Um, I used to use that technique quite a bit when I first started colouring because I used to burnish things a lot because I pressed too hard or I used a pencil that was really hard or whatever. I'm going to do my seeds black. so. I can do them at the end. Now there's our sort of layer. I'm just trying to think whether I want to use a different colour or not. I'm going to definitely sharpen this pencil. I'm going to try my um, Norris, sharp Norris sharpener, but I've still got my electric sharpener in here from yesterday's video, so I may use that. That's, that Norris has been fine. I'm going to sneeze. Right, that's better. Uh, <laughs> don't really need to hear me sneezing on camera. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm colouring less layers towards the middle. Try and make it a little bit lighter in that centre. And I find that helps to give the strawberry some shape. But we'll add another colour to it as well to help with that in a bit. But I just want to layer up the strawberry colour first. So lots on the edge there. Just keep layering it up and then just do a gentler layer towards the middle. So it's Tuesday. Hope everyone's well. My boys have had their uni timetables now. So I know that today both of them are out. Um, one son has a class in the afternoon. And he's back about six. And the other one, I think, is out all day and he's back at seven so uh, he was going to take an evening meal as well to eat before he caught the train so that he uh, he wasn't starving to death when he got home <laughs> and take a lunch box as well so I would have had quite a bit busy morning this morning um, I'm going to look for a slightly different a darker red um, the dark ones are a bit pink so I may go for the Shiraz, which is, you'll see, it's really, really dark, but I'm only going to use it gently. It might actually work for the pips, but maybe not. What I find with um, Derwent is they tend to do some really, really dark colours. And they are quite good for shadowing and you know adding sort of texture and stuff but they're very very dark you wouldn't want to plaster them on I mean, look at my swatch chart look how dark it is and that one too there you know you wouldn't want to use it see the I've only put it on quite lightly I'm going to blend it in a little bit because it's a bit harsh um but what because their pencils blend quite well what you can do is just use a little bit of dark and then light and actually with their light fast pencils 
you've got some really, really pale ones. You have actually here to the oyster and the salmon. And so you can use dark and light together to get something in between. But um, if you don't like mixing colours very much, it might not be the best for you. But there we go. Now, if I want something on the top, just to sort of finish it off, blend it together, get rid of the white paper. I don't want to use my strawberry again because it's really going to darken it all. So I'm having a look and we have a colour called Turkish Delight, which I'm just trying to find. Here it is. And although it looks dark on the base, look how light it is. I'm just going to use that to just blend everything together. I've got to hope. And you can see that we can just get rid of that white paper look and it still looks paler there but we haven't got the paper I mean it's okay if you you can certainly um, leave the paper if you want to you know you don't have to um, get rid of it I think you can use the paper sometimes to help you but I'm just playing around and now I want my black centers so I'm just going to find oh I've got a nice sharp black Oh, we used it last time, didn't we, and sharpened it. So, not centres, pips. So I'm hoping that I've got some tooth left in my paper so I can draw my pips in. Now you can, if you wish, put a little shine on each pip with a white pen and you could do shine on the strawberries too. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not because uh, I haven't got far enough in my picture, basically. We'll get these little black pips done. It's quite good. There's still plenty of tooth in the paper to uh, get that on. Get them on. There we go. So there's our strawberries. Let's move those pencils across. And now we're going to do the apples. Now, it's tempting to do them the same colour so they sort of match. I'm just thinking. I think I will. So I'm going to grab my strawberry again and do the apples. Now we've got a white mark here. Um, I'm just checking. Now, Chromaflow pencils, these particular colours, don't bleed into white pen. So I'm going to put white pen over the top of that after. And then I will probably will do a bit on the strawberries over there too. Um, I find it easier to get a nice even finish if you aren't trying to leave a white bit but you can by all means leave it if you um if you find it difficult if you haven't got white pen sorry but i find it difficult okay, words <laughs> Can't speak. so yeah so i was looking i asked my boys to tell me what modules they'd be doing so what was it one's doing Financial accounting and presentation, is it something like that? Corporate finance and accounting. Um, data analysis and something. Pretty dark on those edges. And um, the other one he was doing. My other boy is doing um, Agile Methods, it's computing, um, Internet of Things, Data Analysis, both doing Data Analysis, and um, this is our Shiraz, I'm going to put a little bit on the edge, just like we did with the strawberries. Um, you're doing Internet of Things, Data Analysis, Operating Systems, and gosh, I can't remember the other one. Data Analysis, I think that's the more, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway. I said, have a look and see what, um, what when your assignments are due in, you know, what the dates are, what, what your assessments are, just so that we've got some idea 
you know what to expect. Oh, my son said, says I'm 360 something days, no, 370 or 80 days late handing in my assignment. I <laughs> said, oh, they haven't updated it yet. Now, now in with the Turkish delight again. You can do your apples green or with some green, you know, red and green if you want. I think I just like the idea of them matching. I'm going to go back with my Shiraz a little bit because that isn't close enough to the edge for my liking. And we've got quite a dark patched edge drawn in by Johanna, which I'm going to just emphasise there. I'm just being fussy. Now this one and this one have got a tiny bit of um, dead flower at the bottom, um, so I'm just going to grab a dark brown. What have we got? Um, I think the oak. And some, yeah, that actually. Oh, what the, nut, the nutshell I'm going to use. It's not, um, it's not sharp. There we go. Right, now, oh, that one's off, sorry. Now we've got sort of lots of green. We've got the apple leaves, we've got the strawberry leaves over here that you can't see. Um, what sort of apple green? I am thinking, and I've also got to think about our peacocks and what's going to work with that. I think the jungle green might work rather nicely. Let's see if I can find it, there it is. jungle green and I'm just going to put a layer down really a fairly thick layer so that we can see it and then decide whether we need to do any more or whether it's enough just as is it's always because it's quite fine it's going to be quite tricky to add more but it might just need it. So what I'm going to do is just follow this loop round. I'm going to try and put enough colour in it so that I won't need to add more if I don't want to, but not too much. So there's still some tooth left in the paper in case I do want to add a bit more. Like here, for example, it indicates that it wants a bit more. work. I've already gone out the lines about a zillion trillion times. Maybe a few less. Maybe. <laughs> Our heating came on this morning. Um, it usually starts to come on in September anyway. But I changed it all around yesterday because it felt really cold in the house and the windows were steaming up so I thought I need to put the heating on to try and stop that happening. Unfortunately the heating came on this morning and it, it steamed up even more. I always thought heating stopped things steaming up so I wasn't sure what was going on but I need to probably do a bit of online research to find out what I can do to stop that. And I realise like opening windows and things lets the moisture out but we do have a little vent in our window letting some moisture out in our bathroom but it wasn't actually that bathroom I used this morning and it still steamed up. So it's all a little bit curious. I'm going to sharpen my pencil. Might have been a good idea to have done that right from the beginning. Shh. But you know. Uh, 
uh, it, I, I guess I was saying our windows didn't used to steam up, I was thinking to myself this morning, but I remember when the boys were babies and we used to have their cot against our bedroom window and never open the curtains. I never know what to do with this sort of thing. I think I'll leave it open. Um, and um, it was, we had loads of mould on the window once we moved the cot away where it had steamed up behind the curtains. So I suppose it probably did steam up before. In fact, I remember the steam used to get so bad that it would go into the hallway and set off the smoke alarm. I remember husband doing that. Right, let's move across to the other side. Do the same on this side. It's just exactly the same. So yeah, I don't know. You know, I've heard things like, you know, if you use a, um, a, what's it called? Um, on your shower door, a sort of um, scrapey tool to push the water down off the door. Apparently they say that helps. But I don't really know why because the condensation of steam has hit the ceiling and the windows and everything of the room by then. So I'm not too convinced that that's going to make a big difference. I could see how it might prevent mould if you scrape it away, although it don't get mould on the glass anyway, if you scrape it off the tiles or whatever, it might help that, you know, the grout. But I don't know. Which reminds me, I really do need to clean my new shower today. Um, it was finished on Monday, and we told not to do anything for 24 hours, so it didn't do anything on Tuesday. And then yesterday I was just busy, busy, and I didn't get around to cleaning it. Well, when I say busy, busy, some of the time I was just colouring. And not on video. Colouring on video. That's that's work, so that's fine. <laughs> but just sitting there colouring. Yeah, not really. But I was doing a lovely page, which I would have already shared with you, actually. Because um, I'm planning, I've got a plan as to... It's interesting, these leaves are covered with the apple on the other side. Um, so uh, anyway, I was doing a page and doing more on it this morning. I did a few buddy colours as well with my friend Michelle. It's fun. You know, some people like to do a buddy colour. It sort of encourages them to colour. Or they like to compare and see how the other person is done. I always find it really interesting to see whether we choose the same colours or different colours or whatever. Now I think this is a little bit dull, just all the same green, so I'm going to get a darker green and do some... I was going to say highlights. If it's a darker green, are they low lights? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to get a darker green. So this is the jungle green. Let me have a look on my swatch. I'll just show you what I'm looking at. So here's the jungle green. So I want a dark one. So we could use the tropical rain, which we had used for the peacocks. So I think that's a really good idea. But I'm not sure if it's going to show up. So we'll have a go and see what happens. Here he is. Tropical rain. I'm going to stay on this side just because that's where I am. So I'm going to try a bit here. Yeah, I think that shows up enough. Put it on the bottom of this swirly bit. And there. On the leaves, you can put them on the base, I think, where they're sort of overlapping. But here, gosh, it's fine. I just put some at the top and bottom, and the leaves I'll put some at the bottom. Yeah, that's looking better. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting, I think. But you know, it's completely optional. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, just just leave it with the one colour. It still look pretty.
Nope. You don't have to colour it out of the lines. Optional choices. I think it doesn't always necessarily matter exactly what you're colouring in a different shade, it just gives it a little bit of a different look. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just going to go up on the bottom. I think a bit along the bottom seems to be in a bit of interest. There we go. Okay, I'm going to move it across and try and do the same on the other side. I'm going to sort of copy what I've done a little bit. So along the bottom, my book's creaking. The springs creak. It's really funny. Okay, this will be a bit different. I'm going to do them at the bottom. Similar to the strawberries, because we did them at the bottom too. All of there. What did I do? The bottom of each leaf. I was just um, on Facebook before I came on here. And uh, someone I'm Facebook friends with, who lives locally actually, had wished her parents a happy golden. No diamond wedding which is 60 years wedding anniversary I was trying to calculate how old I might be if I managed to make it to mine I was thinking well got married in 2000 so that'd be 2060 um so I would be um about 90 something so, wow but I got married quite old I guess um anyway I was thinking must be close to my parents. I know they've had their golden and it was quite some time ago. So I did a little bit of research and their diamond wedding is in 20, um, 27, which isn't that long away because I found their golden was in 2017. And when you reach that milestone, you can get a, um, a letter from the king. I think my mum might really like that. My dad isn't doesn't really he, he he's got strong opinions on the royal family. We'll just leave it there. Um, he's got nothing against them personally, but he just doesn't think we should have royals. Let's put it that way. Um, now I'm going to use yeah. Let's use a bit of this. I'm going to use this golden sun, which remember we used it up here for these bits for the centres of these flowers down here not the whole of the centre though just the bottom bit there just a little smile shape at the bottom if you can it's not quite looking how I planned and then I'm going to use a a brighter lighter yellow this sunflower if I can find it In there oh, there it is for the rest here it is Ooh, sunflower and um, anyway but in order to get a letter from the king and the queen consort or a card or whatever it is they do you have to prove which is fair enough so you need your wedding certificate marriage certificate so they'd have to be on board to uh, send it so I was talking to my sister about it and she said I said well because my dad isn't so approving, maybe he could get that and we could organise it. But um, if he got the certificate, then don't worry, my parents don't listen to my uh, my, uh, uh, my videos. Um, I'm choosing a pink for these flowers. Now, strawberry and apple blossom is usually white, but sometimes it has just the hint of pink. And I'm going to use the rose pink. It's really pale. But it's the closest I think I can find to the colour I'm looking for. I'm going to put a really light layer on. I don't want it to be too dark, but I need it to show that there's some colour here. So, um, I 
going to have to layer it on a bit more than this. Anyway, so I thought because my dad isn't quite so t taken with royalty, then maybe he could uh, find the certificate and then we could organise it. They also, um, also do it for your 100th birthday. So for the anniversaries, just in case anyone's interested in organising it for anyone, it's for 60th. 65th 70th and then every year after 70. i don't know if you have to apply every time it's not the details are on the government's website i just googled it letter from the king or whatever it was and uh, it was there now oh, that is so pale you can barely see it i'm gonna put some darker color on i'm sort of keen to not make it too dark but i want it to show up so I'm going to put a little bit of this orchid on. I'm just going to sharpen it. Um, yeah, so and with the 100th birthday, apparently um, you get one on your 100th and then every year after. If you're a pensioner and you, you're getting a pension, then you get one automatically because um, you're on the system. But if you're not claiming your old age pension, if you're not, why not? Then you have to apply. Should... Everyone's entitled. Should be claiming it. So I'm going to put a sort of thickish layer here in the centre. And I'm just going to try and spread it up the petals a little bit with the, with the other colour. Let's see if I can get that to work. So back to this rose pink and then just try and push it up a bit. I'm not sure if that's really working that well. But. So yes, yeah, so I thought it'd be quite nice to do that. I expect they'll have a little party. They usually have a get together. Now I've got another flower up here out of shot. I'm going to do that one a different colour I think. I've got my pink back, my orchid, and I'm thinking about these circles. I'm just wondering if I've got a pen. No. Yes, I do. I've got a jelly roll moonlight. Ooh, which doesn't want to come to me. Here we go. Jelly roll moonlight. And there's this colour look. Is that burgundy? I don't know what colour it is, actually. It might not be. They're all in the wrong order. I'm just going to scribble it. Mmm, that's really dark. It might just do for those dots, so I'm going to use it. It's number 422. It might tell me. It doesn't tell me what the names are. And I'm going to do the dots. With it and then all these dots around it now if you want to if you don't have you know use a the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> use a pink a dark pink metallic pink um you could use a pencil if you don't have but it's too fine for me um you could use any sort of um fine liner in a pinky shade you know, this isn't really the best colour, but I think it will work. Um, so there's lots of options available. There we go. Now I'm also going to use a little bit of white on, um, on the fruit now. Now I've got a bit of wet pen, we might as well do it all. So this is the Secure Daily Roll 8. And on the... I'm going to do the apples. No, I'll do the apples first or else I'll smudge it. Now I could do a line like that, following the shape of the fruit. Or I could do dots on the each black bit. But I think I'm just going to do a little line. Just get the pen to work. Around... 
edge like that. So try and make it look a little bit shiny. And on the apple, we're going to fill in the little bit that Johanna drew on for us. Like that. And if your white doesn't show up very well, you might need to do a couple of layers. Sometimes I do. I'm going to actually thicken this line on the here. It's, it looks a little bit more similar to the one oops, on the apple. Don't do what I did. I just went over the top of what I've done already. And of course it um, tends to erase it. There we go. So there is the fruit and the little very, still looking very pale flowers. Um, how long have we been? 28 minutes. I think we might do these two leaves here. I'm wondering about this one, whether we do it the same or a bit different. I'm going to have a quick look at my greens and have a ponder. Hmm, I know what I could do. I could use the Tropical Rain, which we used as our really dark one. And use that for these bits. Now I'm going to try and be very careful not to smudge my white. I'm probably, um, I'm probably doing this in a bit of a silly order. Hopefully those gels are dry anyway, but I'm just being careful. So I'm going to do this, these veins in this. And then, yeah, we're just going to finish these leaves off a little bit, I think. And then be done for today. But there's quite a lot still to do, but I suppose there's no need to rush. I've got a different video to make, so I think I'll leave this one for today after here won't make any difference to you and then make my other one which I want to put up first you see because I just had something through the post that I want to do a flip through of. but uh, yeah it's a colouring have an autumn issue but I think a lot of people have already done flip throughs of it right there's that now we've got a dotted line around the edge and I'm going to go around with this on the edge as well, almost as if there's a a harsh line. Um, I don't think it looks very realistic, but to be honest, I don't think it matters. Although we've been trying to match our peacock colour, for example, to a more realistic looking um, peacock still doesn't look real so I don't think we need to worry about the realism side of things oh, so I had an itch to stop so I'm just going fairly gently a reasonably sharp pencil for this but I'm not being too fast these pencils are quite new to me so I get a bit I don't want to sharpen them every two minutes. You know. <laughs> you all know how it is. Once a few of them start getting shorter, then you get... I mean, oh, that's fine. You can buy them open stock anyway. Now these two, I'm going to use a little bit of this here. And then just sort of fade it like that. Okay. And then it all sort of match. But I'm going to use a different colour now than we've used already. Just so we've got a little bit of a difference. So Ron, I'm going to go to the grass green, I think. It's a bit paler. I think it will work. If it doesn't, then put something else on top. Here it is, grass green. So I'm going to start on this one. Just go over everything because this is a slightly yellower green so I need to put it over the top of the jungle green just to sort of tone it in a bit there we go the same on this side I'm trying to make it symmetrical it's not going to be perfect 
I can never get things looking exactly the same. The thing is, Johanna tends to you do it on computer, so she'll cut and paste it. Or she used to trace it back in the day, but I think she doesn't now. And uh, so hers is exactly the same. I can't do that, can I, with my colouring? Now I'm going to go all over this with this one. I'm going to try and go right to the edge, over the top of the line that I've drawn around the edge and over the top of the veins. This is why I did it first, because it's a little bit bluish and I wanted to just tone it down a bit with this next colour. And hopefully it will work. I have got no idea what I'm going to do for the butterflies. I don't want to use too many different colours because I think it will get a bit messy but I don't want to use everything the same either you know so I'm gonna have a think about what to do with those I could do them blue to sort of match them with the peacocks a little bit um, we could keep all the flowers pink you know to match them with each other We've got the red which sort of matches the, the sort of brownish colour in the peacocks. The pink doesn't really match anything, but it helps the flowers stand out and look pretty. So I'm not really sure what to do. But I shall think on it and I'm sure it'll come together. And if it doesn't, then you can always do something different if you don't like what I've done. But I always think, you know, I'm not being negative and, and thinking you aren't going to like it. What I mean is, you know, some people don't like certain colours. So I think, oh, I don't, I don't like that pink. I'm going to do a different pink or I'm going to do them blue or whatever, you know, purple. Whatever you might want to do. Not everyone is the same. I'm sort of tempted to do turquoisey butterflies. And do I match them exactly? Because they're different shapes. And obviously they've got different markings on them. Or do I do them slightly differently to each other? I mean, obviously the fruit is different. I'm going to use the same colours on them. But maybe not in the same places. Their bodies will definitely be the same colours. Probably use the grey that we used for the peacock's feet. I'm just trying to get this tidy. Look at um, look in the camera and then I can see the places where I missed. I don't know why it's easier when you look in, I look in the camera. And it seems to be that it's just the light is different. We're nearly done. There we are. So I'm going to finish there. Keep it shortish and we'll come back tomorrow do a bit more. Um, it's quite a, it, it's not a complicated page, but it's nice to spend some time on it because some of the pages I feel quite daunted by and then I feel like I want to do them quickly and get them sort of done. Whereas this one I'm not daunted by, you know, we've just got a few leaves and flowers and butterflies. It's not very much left to do. So I'm not daunted and I want to enjoy it and do it slowly. Maybe it doesn't make sense that's the way it is. Anyway, thank you for watching today. Um, I hope that you have a lovely day and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll pop in tomorrow and look at the next instalment. But until then, um, thank you so much. Please do like, subscribe, comment and happy colouring. <laughs>